What is going on, everybody? Connor, everything back with the final game of the semifinals of the Infantry Cup. That's right, it's been, God, has it been three months since 64 people signed up? We're down to our final four, and this is the final game of the final four. We, we already saw, um, already saw, um, Ekahard, uh, pull it off in game one. And we have another banger of a game between Suheed and Trinimir. Now, r regarding the title in the thumbnail of this video, I have I don't know what the title in the thumbnail is going to be, but it's going to be something along the lines of pointing out just how long this game is. Take, just, just take a look at how small this map is. And I uh, think, like, the, the, the max amount of, of turns you probably need to pull this off. I believe the day count of this game goes up to the 60s. This is going to be a slugfest. It, um, it, it's 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 going to be a ridiculously long game. I wonder if it'll be even the whole way through. If there'll be some close surrenders, or perhaps perhaps it'll be one player just refusing to give up to the very end, and we can just skip through a bunch of days. I don't know though. Knowing these two people, this is going to be a battle. <clears throat> so. I, I already introed these COs in our last game, just gonna do it quick. Eagle will gain plus 15 attack and plus 10% defense to air units. Uh, who cares about the fuel and his naval units lose 30% attack, who cares? He's tier 2 for a reason, that's a good day today. Lightning drive sucks, they gain more def just air units, gain more defense and attack, just air units. Pretty worthless power. Lightning strike, everything can move a second time. That's that's the one that you want to do, and something that I, I didn't comment on last game that everybody pointed out in the comments is that Ekahard absolutely won that game, holding on to his lightning strike. It, it it takes a lot of discipline to sit on a lightning strike like that when you just think, well, I can just rush in and do it again, and then he'll be crippled. No, no, no. He waited until the perfect time to strike. So Ekahard definitely earned that one. <clears throat> but we got Eagle going up against Olaf who's unaffected by snow. His CO power blizzard makes it snow for one day, well, and that'll make, that will make um, you know, Eagle's movement very, very tough. Winter's Fury for only four more stars. Enemy units lose two HP, and the weather changes to snow for one day. So, yeah, I, I entered them yesterday. I kind of broke them down yesterday, so you can maybe watch, uh, you know, I, if you want to know more, I guess you just got to watch some more of my content. Am I right? All right. Uh, well, uh, so I have the Sonic Rush soundtrack on for a game that is going to take a very long time. I, s sorry, I, I, I hope that isn't too spoilery, but um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's going to be interesting either way. We're definitely in for a giant lightning strike at one point. That That is 100% that is fact. All right, let's just go ahead and see what Suheed does with two infantry, a classic opener from Suheed. Trinomir in his signature bubblegum pink will follow suit. Pushing out, I'm sure they'll have similar uh, infantry movement here. And then no no day three recon. Will we see a day three recon from Suheed? We will! Very aggressive. That's an aggressive tax position right there. Very cool. I like to see that, Suheed. Um, but then, uh, oh my god, Trinomir? I mean, he's saving up. I think, uh, I, I think you kind of need to save up. So Trinomir can grab a artillery and, and dislodge this immediately. Suheed will not be able to do that next turn as it currently stands. And whoa! Suheed has... Um, <clears throat> Suheed has completely base skipped here. He's completely base skipped and opted to push all the way out here and grab this property first. That is not what Trinomir is doing. Really off kilter um off kilter uh intra or uh opener from suheed maybe i should be analyzing this a little bit more but here comes trinomir with this um artillery and he'll be able to pop this officially before suheed will because look so he's not going to have enough to back that up with an infantry so it'd be foolish just to, to to factory skip this early in the game okay pushing out i mean he looks similar over here to trinomir but then you know obviously skipping this property and he's a little delayed capturing this um, <clears throat> because of everything, and what will he do? If I were him, I'd just push this out here, and then, oh no, no, because this one's going to grab this next turn, so, yeah, if I were Suheed, I'd grab this now, 
he will opt to do so. And yeah, see, because of this early recon, oh, this is going to get some nice harass, though. 100% will get some nice uncontested harass. <clears throat> Let's be perfectly clear here. Trinomir is not going to pump out a tank right now to contest this, so whatever infantry shows his head here will get will get a free shot from Suhid, and it, that will not be the same in this quadrant of the map. However, as, as what I've just said, <clears throat> Suhid uh, will not be able to take shots at this missiles earlier than he'd like to. Okay, you know, that being said, oh, and more infantry. Uh, that being so, oh, so, uh, he's, he's one tile out of range for Suhid. Um, but, uh, so he is, comes marching. Here he goes. He's, he's going to lock down these two buildings. He's, he's going to like that early recon. Surely we will see an artillery. And now, so he's just that much more delayed though. Trinomir will surely pump out a tank this turn. And, you know, yeah, see, I, 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 I said he's going to like that. Um, but now a tank is going to be quickly lurking in the area so he'll obviously get an interrupt here for free and as so he just kind of pushes down further so yeah he grabbed this and then moved on to this um <clears throat> Trinomir's nowhere even near it um it's gonna be a, a mad scramble for these comm towers that's for sure so if i was to heat here i would just do a oh man i mean i mean th th this engagement is a hundred percent free it's free, and then you can retreat, and at least you cripple his capture game a little bit. Um, Trinomir will probably get himself trapped on this next turn. But... No, he sees it. How does he see it? No, he doesn't see it. Oh! Nope. So, this, uh, the, the, the replay viewer's bugs. He, he does not... Oh, he does see it. He does, because this, cause this troop is on the mountain, so... Unfortunate, but yep, there goes one shot at the um, missiles. <clears throat> there goes two shots at the missiles. Okay, so yeah, he he won't be able to hop on that base. So and you know, so he'd already has this secured. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, here comes Suhid. Uh, what will he do with his recon? Will he take a shot at this? He can't. If, if su su for Suhid to take a shot at one of these now would be foolish. He should have taken a shot earlier. If I were him, I would just obviously pull this back into this forest. So, um, you know, <clears throat> threatening this. For for all I was saying about the good capture game early. <clears throat> um, you know, Trinomir has this. Tr Tr Trinomir has this. So, uh, I, you know, is it, is it really doing anything? Hold on, I gotta clear. Oh, we are so back. Like I never left. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we so we push out, and so he can start finally pumping out some 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 good meaningful units. How much of that did you see? I'm not I'm not editing that. Was that gross? I tr no, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You, you, come on, don't don't lie to me. You did, don't don't lie to me, Walt. You didn't see anything. Okay, so yeah, um, <clears throat> definitely ballsy of Trinomir to do that. Knowing he's got a he's got a uh, troops lurking, but he but uh, he has a tank to back it up, so you know it's 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 not the worst thing ever. And then yeah, you know, so he so he'll get this comm tower. He's threatening this, and if, if he runs this tank down here, he he's gonna like that. And in this recon down here, he's gonna like that. Um, <clears throat> um, that being said, maybe honestly, if I was Suhid, I'd probably just concede this and and pull my and pull my infantry back. There's there, there there's no getting this comm tower. Um. I would, ah, uh, see, I, I don't think I would have done that. I probably just would have pulled it back for repairs, and then you can hit even harder next turn uh, and then go in. Um, but, yeah, uh, mirroring Trinomir here. Pretty standard opener. Okay, take a shot there. Take a shot there. Yeah, good engagements. I mean, he, he, know, he knows he won't get one shot, so I think he's just uh, <clears throat> using this for harass, and then he'll probably pull back with the... Um, Recon, okay, tanks coming in. I, I, guys, I think I have to speed up the, the commentary here. This video is going to be too long. I'm going to lose subscriber. Ooh, nice place for this to sit. I think Trinomir can try to finish it off here, and he does. Wow. Yeah, man, Suhid, you just lost vision, bro. You just lost vision, bro. Should not have done that. <clears throat> Maybe it came down to a luck roll, and he was just trying to get lucky, but... 
think, you know, that was better off attacking an infantry down here earlier. Um, he, he's doing a good job of fighting fighting him for this property, but what is he losing in the meantime? He's He just lost a recon, and property only gives a thousand, so he'd have to have it for four turns anyway, but... <clears throat> awesome, so... Another two turns guaranteed of Trinomir not having this because it takes two turns to capture it and whatnot. So Trinomir uh, just putting himself in a position to take out um, anyone that's going to come at him here. Trinomir does grab his airport. So, ah, but Suhid is already rolling and anti air out in the field. Very smart. Nice move, Suhid. <clears throat> He'll work on his airport now. Okay, Suhid moving down. He'll probably take a shot. Probably take another shot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not bad. It, you're, you're gonna take you're gonna take a beating from enemy infantry next turn, though. There's no doubt about that. Okay, and ooh, nice little, nice little um, fortification here. <clears throat> Only issue is trimmer has got an artillery of his own, and he can drive this up here and take two shots with the tank, and then it's just kind of it's kind of a pissing match, if you will. So we will see double tank for Suhid. <clears throat> Will Trinomir make his first Battlecopter this turn? Probably. He's Eagle. I mean, uh, uh, don't got to think about that one too much. Okay, and then he will drive... Yeah, he'll, he'll drive this in, and then kind of... That's, see, this is exactly what I said. Um, <coughs> who will come out the victor? You, you, may, you may be asking who will come out the victor. Suhid with his comm tower, I think, could hit this, and then possibly hit this, and then clean up the tank, but then he'd just take in the shellacking from the artillery so and uh, uh so he definitely saw that he drove an artillery into this forest he's definitely using the replay viewer oh uh but he's got a um battle copter in, as immediate reinforcements and another tank so although this position looks like he could get some free hits those hits are not free and trinomir is going to come back with a vengeance um okay but he he is he he will be taking Okay, and, and then this this will fortify it. This will uh, interrupt here, <clears throat> interrupt again. So he, he's he's not conceding this property. He's saying you know, you know, you know. He's he's saying like hit me, baby, one more time, something like that. Something like Britney Spears saying, "Oops, I did it again. I I interrupted your funds. I locked you in. I locked you. I don't know. Just come on, help me out. S somebody finish that lyric in the comments. All right, I'm not I'm not a lyricist. Okay, so he pushes out. This is this is great. This is great having this here, because if I was Trinomir, I would just fly this in, and um, <clears throat> it'll get gobbled up. With this tank and this artillery in the area, though, ah, <laughs> Zaza, I don't know about that. Uh, lots of tanks rolling out for Suhid, and then, yeah, see, that's going to get sh uh, shellacked. Uh, going to push in, and then, yeah, gone. Um, gone. Yeah, now it's gone, even, and now it's crippled. This will come back, and yeah, so... Realistically, what is Trinomir gonna do? He's gonna, um, clean this up with his, uh... He's gonna clean this up with his anti-air, and then take a shot with his artillery. But then his anti-air is just gonna get gobbled up. Honestly, it, it, it might seem tempting, but... I think a mature move on Suhid's part would be to pull back on this front. It's it's completely overrun by Trinomir at this point. You madman. You madman. What are you thinking? He's he's Oh, he's so close to Winter's Fury. I don't think he'll get it. Oh, he's so not going to get it. He's so not going to get it though. Bro, you've gone in on two fronts. Suhid, you are a good player. I'm surprised that, that you just did this. This, ah, this is not going to look good. This is about to get real messy. Um, you know, obviously he's got like a nice foothold down here. He's preventing uh, Trinomir from getting this comm tower, and that's pretty huge. But this comm tower is about to be gobbled up right now. Okay, he's, yeah, I mean, he'll just wipe out these, yeah. And then they're like, that's, uh... <clears throat> Let's see, if I was Trinomir, I can't take another shot at this, unfortunately. Um, so here we go. Yeah, he takes a shot there, and oh my god. Mm, yeah, he'll take a shot there. He'll take a shot there. 
Oh man, and then yeah, see, he's just gonna get the, he's gonna get the comm tower. No, he won't. He won't because of Winter's Fury. But um, ha, Trinomir has no um, anti air. I'm sure he'll build one this turn. Yeah, okay, yeah, Pre very predictable. Step by step. Here comes the Winter's Fury. So from so unlike last game, we were in the, we were in the hundreds of thousands. We're only at 73k for damage down to 56k. So it, it did 20k of damage, and uh, now Suhid will begin uh, you know capturing again. He he kind of figures that this is a free hit, and it is. Pull back here. Pull back here. Take a shot. Uh, yeah, and that, I mean that. I mean that's a decent shot, right? Like he'll get a shot from the forest next turn, and with the lightning strike, he's not going to do a whole lot down here. But with the lightning strike up here, it's looking like it could get pretty ugly. Hmm. What happened to all of? Oh, I see. So, 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 so what I was seeing here was two healthy tanks and kind of a swarm of tanks. And by the end of it, both tanks have actually taken a pretty pr pretty hard hit here. Uh, he does have two... He does... Uh, one, oh, he does have this Battlecopter in the area that'll take a shot at this tank, uh, but with an anti-air to reinforce it. Hmm. Actually seems like... Actually seems like completely okay. Uh, let's see what Trinomir decides to do, because... Okay, he pulls back. He'll go in. I gotta imagine... He'll he'll pop the lightning strike right now, probably. Although, like, look, look, this is the power of snow, right? If he lightning strikes right now, this 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 battlecopter is worthless. So we'll see what he does. Oh, jeez, God, they are just slugging it out on this map. This is nothing like the last game. He goes for it. He he will pop. Oh yeah, because this uh, artillery is in range now. So he'll pop the lightning strike, and yeah, dealing massive damage up there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gen this orange is Gynominosaurus. He drives that in, does not take the shot. And, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, with, with, with no way to blow through, this will not get a clean shot. Um, and he'll lose the comm tower. However, Trinomir has conceded this area now. This is, this is all the Suhid show right now, baby. He'll actually run all the way back. And, yeah, so... So he's conceded this half of the field, so he should feel pretty happy that he's won. He'll now win an income advantage, and he'll gain a comm tower back after losing it up here. But he is absolutely in full-on retreat mode. Um, he's, he's, he's coming back on two fronts, um, just healing up his units. And he actually goes for an artillery over here. I mean, uh, yeah, okay, sure. And then uh, he works so hard to lock down this property, and now it's just gone. But that's okay, I mean... But both of them are equal on income. They're each going to have a, a comm tower. Now, this is actually Trinomir's first time with a comm tower all game. Which which is definitely pretty impressive. Okay, I, th I think we all see where this is going, right? Not much to analyze here besides people just walling up. And we're going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned standoff pretty shortly here. I mean, I would think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, teams even on income after Suhid grabs his property here. They are dead even on income. This is as even as it's going to get. This is as even, period. And here comes the Battlecopter Swarm from Eagle, I, which I agree with. Okay. And, yeah, pushing up. Pushing up. Uh, you know, uh, decent place for this to sit. If you're going to do something like this, though... Like, like, this is something that... This is an opinion that I have that just comes from last game. If you're going to do something with this, what did we see with um, Indirect Bomber? Indirect Bomber overextended with his units, and he just didn't have a meat wall. He didn't have a meat shield in, in front of his units. So, without a meat shield, like, both of these tanks are going to take a hit, you know, from a bat... From, you know, this Battlecopter, this tank, and this tank then this is just going to get interrupted. Is it really worth it, you know? Um, maybe. I, I, I don't really know. We're, we're, we will see. A Battlecopter for Suhid, followed by two infantry. Um, what will Trinomir do about the situation? Will he... No, he's obviously not going to concede his building, but will that be the only engagement he takes? I think the answer is yes. This is the only engagement he's going to take. 
he uh, opts to just pull back and turtle up. He says, you're not going to get my property, but I'm not going to invest a whole lot of uh, income in it. Mm, 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 what a good fucking song. Damn, great soundtrack. I should, I, you know what, I, I, sh I should replay Sonic Rush. That, that might be one of those games where, because when I was a kid, I was so ass at Sonic Rush. Um, <clears throat> and it was so hard. I finished the game, and it was like the greatest accomplishment ever. I want to see if that's like little kid syndrome, and the game's actually super duper easy. Because I remember it being super hard. Oh my god, uh, so he is like going in. Um, he's gonna like tr probably just try his hardest to grab this right now. Uh, he'll be able to take a shot at this. Uh, take a shot at this. He'll be able to take a shot at this uh, artillery. Um, he'll probably bust through with his tank and take a. Sh oh, very cool move. Smooth move, some would say. Mm hmm. Smooth move. Yep, yep. Uh, although, a smoother move? You know, smoother move, a smoothie move? You know, some would say. Just capture that again and then make him fight all the way in and. and, and prevent the, the, the full-on capture of that. So, I thought this game was going to be stall -y. There, It's just action all around the board. Okay, we're going to have it. Oh, yeah, one-shots on roads. That, that makes sense to me. Because Trinomir finally has a comm tower. Even without the comm tower, that might one just one-shot on roads. No, I think you need a comm tower. Um, yeah, and then, you know, cr crippling, and por sh crippling important capture game around this area. And then, yeah, I mean... Here comes probably a double shot with the tanks, and then ooh, threatening up here. He's not gonna get that. This is this is overzealous. And what do you know about females when you get overzealous? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how about you how about you how about you go home and think about that, Trinomir, before you get overzealous like that, alright? Okay. If you didn't know, uh, females get jealous when you get overzealous. Okay, back to the game. Okay. Uh thank you. Wait, oh, Will Smith didn't sing that. Who sang who, who sings that song? Uh, it's, uh, bust a move. You want it? You got it. Hey, I don't know. I don't know who sings that song. It, um, my, my, my mom would kill me if she heard me say that out loud. Okay, so he'll take the engage with the, uh, with the anti-air here. Yes. Yes. Okay, he'll bust through. Uh, he's given him everything he needs to bus. He's bussing. He's currently bussing. Man, he's, he's cleaning up units here. Oh, man, that sucks. That, that sucks. Ooh, I'm liking this turn for Suhid right now. Maybe Trinomir pushes, you know, put put all of his eggs in one basket. You know, I'm saying that now. Trinomir's got plenty of healthy units to respond with next turn, so I might just be sounding stupid right now. But with no anti-air in the area and just this Battlecopter, that's an awesome Battlecopter engagement for Suhid. Okay. I mean, even with Eagle's boosted defense... Like, 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 look at this. Even with Eagle's boosted defense, I mean, what does that really do? I mean, I mean, that, that, that didn't, that didn't help at all, you know? Battlecopter on battle, uh, Battlecopter on Battlecopter violence is very much promoted. That, that is a definite win. A decent place for this to sit. I mean, it'll get ran through, but then whatever attacks it will definitely take a hit from this, uh, artillery. Let's see, let, let's see just how devastating this could be for Suhid if Trinomir continues to go in here, right? So he can, like, bam, shoot this, and then, like, he can, like, shoot this, and then shoot this, clean this up, come up with a full health tank here, and then, yeah, that's, like, his tank presence gone besides these two, which can take a shot from here, shot from here. Battlecopter. Ooh, Battlecopter up here. Ooh, this is actually not looking too good for Suhid. I think, yeah, see, he's, yeah, he's gonna take a beating. Uh, then that's gone. That's gone. Yuppers. This is going kind of exactly like I thought it would. Um, wasn't that was not that hard to predict though. Um, not, I'm, I'm not tooting my own horn. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a tough engagement. Suhid. Has, uh oh. Oh. Oh man. Trindamir is going to have a big time troop um, uh, troop value lead after this turn after he buys. Although he spent some funds repairing, what will he buy? Another anti-air, very smart. He can see the swarm. He, an another anti-air is is a decent move, and then he'll just have to go. Uh, infantry cannot build another battlecopter. Here comes the Winter's Fury, 95k, just like that. Like, like that, that is why global damage is so powerful. Trinomir worked pretty hard to get this um, troop value lead, and just like that, when the world needed him most, he vanished. 
Only only Trinuir, master of all four elements, can stop him. Um, and he'll clean that up, and he'll get some pretty clean shots with Battlecopters here. But if he's not careful, he will be um, he will be taking shots from uh, anti airs if he's if he's just not a little bit more careful. Although the anti airs can't move. Like, look, this anti air can't make it up to this Battlecopter. This anti air can't even make it here. So this is this is a free shot from. Uh, from uh, th this will kill yes uh, uh, there goes that and ooh ooh nice engagements wowie zowie what the fuck is this did that just take seven damage from one that's th that is big damage Suheed how'd you do that my god you can turn your game shark on okay here we go uh, I did did dude are we not even a third of the way through this game Dude, I, I, you know, maybe, maybe Advanced Wars by Web is glitched. Maybe this game isn't as long as as I thought it was, but it could be. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get an interrupt on this. It's nice though, cause he's got to go for the interrupt on this with the tank. Um, I mean, it's 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 not really. Yeah, see, it's not it's not really wasting the tank's potential that much, but could be better. Oh, doesn't get the knockout. That would have been nice. Ah. Oh. That would have been... That knockout would have been... I mean, it was... Oh, shit! He's got lightning strike! Oh, this this is gonna hurt. What 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 started off as a mediocre turn for Trinomir is that this is... Oh, yeah, that's gonna kill. That'll kill. That'll come in. That'll kill. Ooh, probably... Oh, that's gotta be so close to killing. Oh, but with Suheed's extra defense, perhaps that's what made it happen. And then, with his Lightning Strike, he's actually opting to do a little hit and run here. He's hit on the first turn, and, and now he runs. So, he, he another Lightning Strike through the snow for Trinomir will just put him below Suheed. Suheed has come out unscathed from a Lightning Strike. And now, when I say unscathed, you know, Trinomir's got lots of reinforcements right here. Where are all Suheed's units if, if they have, you know, all of this... Um, if he has all of this, uh, you know, bullshit going on over here. Well, they're spread out amongst the map. Um, s some would say that, you know, they're, they're spread out among us. Some would say that. I, me personally, mm -mm, I, would not, I would not say that. But, he, dude, he keeps going in. Suheed, I think it's time to bail. I honestly think it's just time to go. Yeah, I don't know, man. God, these people are just, like, two heavyweight fighters that are already knocked out cold on their feet just punching each other right now this 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 is hard to watch it, it, it like like i don't want to say it's sloppy like these are two really good like like this is what happens when two really good players butt heads right um both of them are just smashing each other in the nose right now okay but it looks like the nose smashing is going to come to a close very shortly here yes yes indeed it will because now, now I think is where, nope. Now I think it's where we make a wall and we make Blue Moon pay for it. Oh, he's threatening this actually very well. He's threatening this very well. If he, dun, 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 dun. he's threatening. Uh, nah, he's just gonna get surrounded and die next turn. Never mind. Um, unless he just drives this in here and cleans this up. Like, it's not getting threatened by anything. He doesn't know that, but that's probably what I would do in an attempt to grab this comm tower because he's close. God, is it Winnie the Pooh that once said great googly moogly? What the fuck is Suhi doing? You, bro, you gotta run away. I mean, okay, now there's not, now there's like no threats to his battle copters, so maybe, maybe that's why he's doing it. And not the worst, I guess. Um, okay, Su Suhi winning in true value though, you know, subject to being flipped like right now. Yeah, it's like, so, ooh, uh, odd, very odd. I mean, this is gone, so. Ugh, but with the entire in the area, what is Suheed gonna do? My god, this is just crazy. Bam. Ba bam. I think Suheed should have ran when he had the chance. Oh, yeah, see, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, see, like, this is like the power of anti airs. A four health anti air does five damage to the, to the battle copter. Yeah, it, 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 it's. So, some would say it's over. I say it's Jover. It is completely Jover down here, Suheed. 
tail between your legs, back up, and heal. Heal yourself. Okay. Alright. Uh, dude, you gotta run. Oh my god, this dude's freaking nuts! Dude! Suhid, have you stopped taking your medicine? Oh my god, he's free. Suhid, people are not living in your walls. You don't have to tear them open and, and eat the insulation. Jesus Christ, you're going nuts, bro. You're going crazy. A, a nice fight up here is developing, though, uh, for Suhid. I, I, I'm liking the position that he's in. Trinomir will definitely have to divert this tank to go deal with this bullshit. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Hi, Mark. Okay, Suhid is... Just not giving up. What the hell? And he's up in troop value. I mean, I can't. I guess I can't hate. But let's be honest, guys. Don't you think he should maybe just back the fuck up for a couple turns? I mean, the proof's in the pudding. Like he's he's got a troop value and unit lead. That's subject to change. I I just kind of imagine Trinomir's gonna smack this guy up into the air like a kite. Uh, a kite. That is a uh, that is a Froggy Fresh reference, formerly Krispy Kreme. Yeah, so yeah, Tr so he's about to start hemorrhaging troops right now. Yeah, I mean, there's that's that's gone, and then yeah, this diverting up here completely shuts down this entire strike force that Suhid's going on, uh, got going on, and just like that, looks like Trinomir's going to take the true value lead. He'll take it back, but just barely. Uh, any guess? <laughs> Anyone want to guess what Suhid does right now? Does he, does he A, retreat, or B, just smash his head into his grandfather clock? And the winner is, he, oh, uh, he actually might pull back. He does pull back. Nice. Very cool. See, doesn't this look so much more pretty? Prettier, is that a word? Doesn't this just look more pretty, Suhid? I'm proud of you, bro. Um, also, like, like, why am I talking down to this guy? This guy would, this guy, if, <laughs> if I was playing against him right now, he would have, the game would be over, not because I surrendered, because he probably would have captured my uh, HQ by now. I wonder if this game will come down to, to to HQs. I don't think so. They're just they're just pretty easily protected. Um, we'll see. Okay, um, and then yeah, I mean, w without a tank in this area, this is actually Trindamir's, and he can start pushing onto these properties. So. So he's got to run out some tanks here. Lots of battle copters in the area, but they're so easily put down by uh, anti-air that it's just kind of hard to justify building a swarm of them when anti-air can just, you know, it's like the, uh, what is it? You know, people say farm to table. People say like the the industrial school to prison complex or something like that. This is the industrial, uh, this is the industrial anti-air complex. Because you can build a, uh, you know, a battle copter and then just run out your anti airs Oh my god, guys. This video is gonna- this video is gonna be so long. Are you listening to this while you work? Are you listening to this while you work out? Are you listening to this, um... What the fuck is the game plan here, bro? Suhid. He... Joins... Oh, just to build another one? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that one. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, like, you're getting the same value, right? Because that's how joining works. You get the same value. But, you know. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I guess it's all the same shit. Who cares? Okay, Trinomir comes in. I want to see a wall. I want, I, want, I want to see the Great Wall of Trinomir right now. Okay, Trinomir is actually looking pretty good up here now. Ah, he doesn't force it, though. If I were him, I'd probably push into this position. Maybe he's just getting his vision in place to do so. Um, Trinomir pulls back, and then, yeah, nothing nothing to write home about. Neither player has teched up. They have just been throwing rocks at each other. This is a good old-fashioned rock fight right now. They've been throwing rocks at each other all game. No medium tanks. Nothing too fancy schmancy. Um, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Trinomir did not see this. He did not see, so he just do this. There might be a little glitch in. Um, there, there might be a little glitch in Advanced Wars by Web where you can see like a little corner here. So Trinomir might have seen like a flash of blue, like just like a flash of blue pop in there. Mm, I, I don't know though. So yeah. So now both both players just kind of lining up. You know. You know. Old school war, but. but Back in my day, we'd just line up in a line and shoot each other until um, most of us fell down. 
That's also how I. That's also how I recently got on a flight in Frontier. We just kind of stood in front of the the gate and just. Um, <clears throat> You were provided like a weapon. It was kind of like a Hunger Games cornucopia situation, um, where they at the front of the Frontier Airlines gate, uh, the, like like the closer you were to it, um, you know, the, like the better the weapons were. So um, I actually got a seat pretty close to it, and when, when it came time to board, I um, fought my way through, and I, I ended I ended up getting home pretty safe. The, the flight itself was pretty good. Okay. Here we go. So uh, now uh, Trinomir will gain vision of, of all of this. Frontier Airlines is kind of a budget airline. So that's the joke. Okay, so uh, Trinomir is grabbing vision now. So he's going for the lab cap. Pug. Uh, I mean, damn. This. Look at all of these troops with a lightning strike closely on deck. So he's. If if Sahid is gonna pop Blizzard, he's got to make it count. I mean, right now, he's actually threatening some properties here, um, pretty bigly. He's actually making a move on the comm tower up here now. Interesting. Awfully interesting. Ah! Suhid has teched up. Suhid has teched up. Very nice. Okay. He, he'll take him out here. Ooh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's gonna fall. Damn, see, Suhid, not your vision's gone, though. Oh, no, you, you got it right here. Okay, never mind. You, you got vision. This is fine. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was threatening that, but not anymore. Kind of a, I mean, there, there's kind of a little, um, like, like, like a streamlined process here, uh, a, a tunnel that you could, you know, um, if you're capturing this in people and, you know, Trinomers decides to put a unit on here, you, you could take a couple pretty good shots at it. God, with, with a two base map, you can see that. It's, it's tough to have infantry, you know, meat shields with the two base map, but he does go uh, copter, infantry, infantry. What will he do? He's dangerously close to Winter's Fury. Does he have it? He's got it. Yeah. Winter's Fury. Oh, he's got to go in, though. If, if he wants to go, he's got to go. This could be huge. This could, th this could be a big, big turn for Suhid. Okay. Because, I mean, with, 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 I mean, I mean, with all this... You know, um, what's up next, but lightning strike. So, he's gonna get lightning struck, but he, I mean, he, he's got a chance to hit him pretty hard here. Oh, that just doesn't seem like it was hard enough. Oh, these are gonna get so gobbled, bro. These are gonna get so gobbled. So, he, he doesn't, he, he barely even has a lead. Okay, unit value lead is, is huge, right? Because he just popped this, right? Unit value lead is huge. That's going to go down because a lot of these are going to get fixed up, but it's going to drain Trinomir's income, so it's still really good that he did this. Troop unit count, though, that's... that. So he starts with 29 units. Let's see just how bad this gets. With snow on the ground, it's, you know, mo movement is, is restricted minorly, and oh god. Yeah, I'm sorry, 20, 29 units already down to 26. And this is the first half of the lightning strike. Holy shit! Maybe Eagle was maybe Eagle was the the CO to go. May, maybe that was just it. Maybe Eagle was was the CO to go. Cause here comes. Oh man. Oh, he's down to 24, and th this value is gonna this value is gonna plummet. Th there's two more troops gone, down to 22. <laughs> Oh, this is looking very FFable for Trinomir, or uh, Suhid. Oh, this is so FFable. This is so FFable. This is this is getting hard to watch. He doesn't go in anymore, though. Okay. Okay. And, like, the troop value isn't that bad, but the unit count to bounce back from being down 10 units it doesn't matter if most of them are infantry. Uh, but they're they're not. I mean, most of them are actually tanks at this point. So to, to bounce back from this is going to be tough. But holy gas pedal! This dude, this dude fears no man. He says, so he's like, now I now I'm become death destroyer of, of planets, destroyer of worlds. Holy shit! Dude does not have an off switch, and he's he's. He's taken out now five of Trinomir's uh, tr five of Trinomir's troop, and he now has the unit value lead, 
with more um, more uh, battlecopters on the way. God, he's got so many battlecopters. Okay, so Trinomir now taking shots. Pushing up. Boom, that's gone. Boom, ooh, that, he's not going to like that. And then, yeah, okay, that's gone. Uh, that's hurting. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, this is like, this is like, Lightning Strike Two. The 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 Trinomir claps back. The the the, the Trinomir fights back. But ju but just wait for Revenge of the Heed. Re Revenge of the Suheed. And then and then wait like, and then I'm telling you literally like it's something like forty years, fifty years, um, so far along to the point where one, the actress that played Leia is like, she's done too many drugs to live that much longer. And then. Then come out with the Force Awakens and just be like not too disappointed, right? Like like, like the Force Awakens, right? You're not too disappointed in that movie, um, because you're like, well, it's new Star Wars. Like can't like can't we just all agree to be excited about new Star Wars? And then we all said, yeah, it's new Star Wars, so let's just all just be excited about it. And then uh, they just kept making shit that was just. Actually, I take that back be be because you know what? Then what do they do? They come out with um a after it's all said and done, they come out with Rogue One. Which is a crazy good movie. That's a good movie, even if you know nothing about Star Wars. If that's your first experience with Star Wars, that is still a really good movie. And then they made uh, The Mandalorian, and you go, oh my god, like, I'm so glad that Disney bought... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, because nobody says this anymore, but back in the day, a lot of us were saying, I'm just so happy that Disney bought... Um, Lucas films, Disney bought Star Wars because they're making all of this badass shit, and I just love Star Wars and I love watching it. And um, then, good God, then they make The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker, and just all of this other just garbage, garbage. Uh, like what? Like oh God, Solo. How bad was Solo? And then at the end, it's like. Darth Maul. Oh, Darth Maul's alive? Oh my god, I can't wait for the sequel. Yeah, no sequel. Because the movie's just complete ass. Oh god. And uh, somehow Palpatine survived. And then, um, honestly, The Book of Boba Fett? Not that good. I, it, I like... It was okay. I just watched it because of The Mandalorian. And, and now I'm not watching Mandalorian because... Uh, they, they, w what else did they make? Oh god, because I tried to watch Obi-Wan. That was the last straw. Obi-Wan was the last straw. I'm like... What the fuck is this writing? And it's like nostalgia. My nostalgia neurons were firing, were throbbing rather. Like yes, e Ewan McGregor's back as Obi Wan Kenobi. Like everybody wants to see that. But Jesus Christ, was that show just horrible? Holy shit! Talk about horrible. So he, uh, you got a little meat grinder situation. Oh, you are. Ugh. So he, what did I tell you, man? Unless you shop at Men's Warehouse, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like the way you look. You are not going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. This is... This is... This is really rough. But he, he... He kind of maturely pulls back on the other fronts. You know, you can concede this, man. Sweet. You know this isn't yours, right? Um, and then as far as, like, the capture game... I thought this was just going to be a stall... Ooh. Oh, no. This is... Alright, we, we, we got to stop talking about Star Wars because Suhid is about to... So he is about to be thrown into the core of the Death Star. He's about to be thrown into the core of the Death Star by his apprentice that he's turned, you know, apprentice that he's turned against his own son. And then uh, that said Death Star, it's like a space station. If you haven't heard about this, have you heard about this this Death Star thing? And um, the Death Star, after he gets thrown into it and explodes, the Death Star itself then explodes. Uh, so that's what's that's what's about to happen to Suhid here, okay? But but if we know anything, <laughs> Suhid might just survive. He might just survive somehow. Suhid survived um, because like all like that's three bat three full health battlecopters just dead there. Let's look at the power charge here. He goes from one, two, and three gone. Yeah, now he's got Winter's Fury again. Oh my god, and that's another one. Ah! Oh, oh no! Somehow Palpatine survived. Oh my god. Gee oh my god, and it's a Trinomir Bomber! This is gonna get messy. Oh. I could. I, I mean, I, I. 
I can see how Suhid comes back from this, right? Because that's a big investment for Trinomir. Who would win one gigantic bomber 800,000 feet in the sky or one mini anti-air boy? We will see. If he gets caught out by an anti-air, it's game over. So w Winter's Fury is going to, you know, hit this pretty hard here. Yeah, about 30,000, I'd say. Yeah, 30,000. Okay, and then, you know, it's like he's, you know, he, he's hung out some of these things to dry. Like, the, the, these tanks are going to slam into um, Trinomir, Trinomir units here. Yep, that's one. That's two. And now, you know, like, uh, Battlecopters can now wreak havoc again because it's going to take a long time for anti-airs to roll out from the industrial anti-air complex uh, down here. Okay. But with the rest of Winter's Fury, he actually doesn't do a full-on retreat, but he does retreat. This is... Oh, it, it's already Trinomir's, you know? So it's like, yeah, he's got, like... <laughs> he's got freaking... Um, who, who's the American sniper? Um... I don't know. He's just got this. Would, this joke would have been this joke would have been so much funnier if I had just known the name of the American sniper because I would have just name dropped him right there, and you guys would have gone, "Oh, that, that's kind of funny." Um, so the, you know, he's got American sniper over here, just um, not going, not going softly into that good night. He's raging. He's raging against the dying of the light. Okay, pulls back. So, yeah, I mean, he can't do anything into the Winter's Fury. And how is Suhid, like, up in troop value? What the fuck is happening? What is happening? And then, yeah, so, like, these are going to wreak havoc now. Absolutely. Um, and, yeah, he'll just push down here. Um, he'll push it real good. Dun, 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 and then, yeah, he doesn't. Actually, Trinomir did not have enough funds to build a, uh, <laughs> a uh, anti-air. So... He's got three... He's just, like, refilled his Battlecopter supply after getting absolutely smushed by Trinomir. Okay. And then... Damn. If only Suhid knows what's going on down here, he could, like... He could, he could shift pretty hard up here. He could probably m m make a run on this comm tower. Nah, he'll just front shift again. Oh, wait, no, he did build one. I just didn't see this. Okay, my bad. Uh, and here we go. God... It's, uh, how much commentating can I do about the game? Should sh should we go back to talking about current events? Trump's mugshot, anybody? How about the guy that killed Osama Bin Laden? He's now in jail for, like, domestic battery. Maybe we can talk about that. Maybe I should have streamed this game. <laughs> so so I can talk to you guys. Maybe, maybe I'll stream the, uh... Hey, uh, let me know if you guys would rather watch just a video or a stream of the, um... Of the of the final game, you know what? Fuck it. I I, I think I think I'm gonna try to stream the final game. I think I think that's what I'm gonna do, for sure. Um, that would be fun, and that way I can figure out streaming a little bit more. So, um, that way I can do it more with you guys. Okay, two medium tanks, um, two medium tanks, but with a bomber uh, flying around. Uh, it's a tight spot. It's a really big shoe. Really big. Really big shoe. God, he's just got this death ball though. This is going to be tight. <laughs> the music kicked in <laughs> right when I was fast-forwarding through everything. Day 37. Ay vey. What a pain in the tukus, am I right? My fellow Jewish watchers, I am not I am not Jewish. But the tukus is a funny Jewish word. I think we can all agree on that. Let's just put politics aside and agree that tukus, uh, tukus is a funny word. How does he break through this? Hold on. Hold on. Uh... Okay, so this is the only way he interrupts this. He goes here, and then brings his tank here, and then this has to interrupt it. That's the only way he interrupts it. Um. Wow, uh, Suhid has absolutely backdoored Trinomir right now. This is not looking good for Suhid. Uh, although this is now, what am I saying? They're just they're, they're just gonna switch fronts, yeah. Yeah, he, he's not concerned. He's like, all right, if, if, if you wanna do that, I'm sure to come in, and then yeah, like, never mind, never mind. Something about the word took us, yeah. So they're just probably gonna end up switching, yeah. So they're just gonna trade comm towers. They obviously had a gentleman's agreement, you know, obviously. Hey, uh, hey, le leave a comment if you want to see me play Sonic Rush. <laughs> I, I I do not think that would be that entertaining. It might be, it might be. I don't know, I don't know. Just l let me know if you want me to play Sonic Rush. Okay, 
Uh, and yeah, I mean, he's he, he can come in with two battle copters. He's he's in no uh, he's in no threat here. Um, and then he pulls back from this front. Uh, he could lose it though. Try to just defend his um, properties here with no tanks in this area. He can run this um, infantry up here, and this infantry here, this here, and this here, and then just take out the battle copters as they come. Um, that would be that would be a pretty cool move. I think I think that would be cool. What if people were spelled like this? P e e p o l. I think that would be cool. I think. Okay. Uh, he he gets taken out there. Okay. Uh, he'll take a shot there. He'll take a shot there. Take a shot here. Yeah, that'll fall. Unfortunate. Well, now now there's a tank in the area though. But oh man. Um. <clears throat> tell you what. Oh, he's got lightning strike. He's got lightning strike. What is he gonna do with it? Oh no. He's he 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 is pushing Suhi back. He's pushing him back. Here comes the lightning strike. Oh man. Oh boy. Here he comes. That's one troop gone. Two troops gone. Um, that's gone. The three, four, five, six, six. Uh, s uh, s uh, seven. Oh, but I mean, it's gonna. So, I mean, 2200 2, into 1600, and then that's going to die because Winter's Fury coming. Is it? Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, what, 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 I, think, I think that's number seven. Troop number seven is dead. Oh, man. Not looking good for Suheed. Okay, I got to be honest. I thought this game got to, like, the 50-day mark, but I might be wrong because this, cause, cause this is looking like a forfeit angle for Suheed. Wow, this onslaught came out of nowhere. I could have done a much better job at commentating this, but look at this. I mean, could this be it? This, it, it might be. It might be. It should be. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's put it that way. It should be it. Okay. Um, I, if Trinomir is smart here, he probably wouldn't buy or just buy two, two infantry and save up so um, the Winter's Fury doesn't hit that hard. Uh, let's see. The, he, does, he does exactly that. Very cool. So obviously Winter's Fury will come in. Will he FF? So uh, what are we dropping? 40k? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we go... We go... Yeah, 40k. Okay. Then then he can start taking his engages. Yeah, that, that'll that fall. That'll fall. That's done. That... Okay. Dead. Oh, not dead. Wow. Look at that defense coming in clutch. That's crazy good defense right there. Uh, this will come in, stop that, put a stop to that, then come in. I mean, he's got nothing. I mean, he's still got nothing. This is the troop value is somehow still better, but uh, Trinomir is going to heal that right up. And with the troop uh, troop count deficit, this it, Suhid is in a tight spot. A tight spot indeed. Okay, pulling back. Pulling back. Okay. And then, yeah, so Trinomir just pulls back during the Winter's Fury. That's fine. Big ol' lead. Oh, my God. And then Suhid does... He, he, Suhid right now is saying faster, faster, um, until the thrill of speed overcomes the fear of death. That's kind of what he's going... That's kind of the angle he's going for right now. Because um, he is not he is not scared of dying. And uh, he's just getting his adrenaline kick right now. This isn't a... This is in a lost position. He's not going to be able to stop this. Oh no, a Trinomir Neo tank rolls out. Oh, I mean, he's just going to take all this damage. Ay, ay, ay. You got a little schmutz on you, <clears throat> Suhid. Yeah, he's, he's just going to take all this damage. And uh, yeah, this this is this is just going to be tough to come back from. What do you guys think? Does Suhid pull it off? I'm, I'm almost... Is my dog going... Yeah, my dog's going nuts in the background. He's... Uh, He's got some friends over, and he's playing with his friends. So, uh, very cute, hi. Huh? My dog's name is Natty, by the way. He's named N-A-T-T-Y. He's a boy. Uh, he's named after Natural Light, which was uh, my favorite beer out of college. And my fiance said, I really want a dog. And she said, if you let me get a dog, I'll let you name it. I said, deal a let's, let's Let's go get that dog. We were going to go get a puppy. And then the puppy kind of sucked at the shelter. And he threw his paws up on the cage next to where we were petting the puppy. And we're like, can we just, like, pet that one? And he said, yeah, sure, he's very nice. 
And when Abby was sitting on the ground, he just flopped on his back into Abby's lap. Because uh, he just he just loves getting pets so much. So he kind of picked us, you know. Um, so uh, so we, we love him. His name is Natty. Okay. Back to the game. I mean, I'm a little tempted to fast forward. I'll just fast forward through this. I, I genuinely don't know who wins. I would be shocked. I mean, we, we did see Nabirius Buster come back from a way worse situation than this. So, so I mean, I mean, so he... Good God, he, uh, oh, no, so, but here we go, with Trinomir with both comm towers, and so he'd nowhere near, you know, close to getting this ever for the rest of the game. I mean, the, ne the Neo tank's about to have a field day with this, uh, medium tank, it's actually just drooling right now. Oh, never mind, he covers it up. So, uh, not the worst, I guess. I mean, shit, I guess so he could, could grab this, uh... Uh, I guess so he could grab this, uh, this comm tower down here. What is happening? Is, is he gonna go up in troop value again? No, he won't, but it, it'll be close. The, tr the unit count! What is he doing? How did he do that? I mean, like, am I not paying close enough attention? Because what the hell is happening with this unit count? You know, um, okay, yeah, then yeah, oh, ooh, bye-bye. I mean, I mean, charging up Winter's Fury, he, he doesn't get nothing out of it. He gets, like, next to nothing out of it, but... <laughs> But uh, at least I'll have a Winter's Fury coming in here. Day 42. Um, so, impressive back and forths with Suheed. I mean, at this point, this looks really tight for me. I think, at this point, if I was Suheed, I'd definitely FF. Nope, <laughs> never, never mind. Uh, I, I would never FF. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not scared of anything. A little, little, little task force up here. He will take out the one health troop capturing this down here and um, uh, push up and conceding this area even more. He'll come down, grab uh, gr grab Vigeon. Grab Vigeon Freeze is a type of dog. No, it's called a Bijon Freeze. Okay, this will go. Bye-bye. Yeah, Vision gone. That's that's tight. And then, yeah, here we go. Here's, here's the beginning of the end when he starts flipping income properties. Because right now, you know, I guess so he's thinking, well, if we have equal income, you know, I, th I, th I think I could pull this off, but it's just kind of not the case. Um, Suheed, man. This is just looking so tight. Uh, he's just slamming into him, though. He, he is not giving up. Absolutely not. He, he grabs a Winter's Fury to he'll probably equalize the, the troop value again uh, after he buys. Yeah, he'll, so, so he'll equal the troop a lot. He'll equal the troop value again after and He's only got one. Shit, he's only got one anti air in the area. So, uh, just like that, uh, he's, baby, he is so back. He does equalize the troop value again, and he, he is now up, and he's equalized the troop count again. Winter's Fury is so strong. I mean, like, Winter's Fury is so strong. You saw how, you, think, think about how strong Eagle's power is, right? To be able to go twice in a game is ridiculous. But Winter, but Winter Fury is is so strong that it can like just undo all of that bullshit. You you could just click Control Z when when you Winter Fury because because it's because of the global damage, um, and then you know the the snow's a bonus, but the global damage is just too huge. Okay, now he's down seven troops, but if we know anything about our number one Deegis fanboy, it's that he he is not a fan of giving up. He'll take a shot. He'll shoot. He'll shoot. He will combine to get funds. And what will he use those funds on? A Neo Tank. Okay, so up in troop value, close in troop uh, troop count, but like that's definitely gonna fall right now. Um, yeah, it's 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 a death spiral. He's he he he's you know bombing him. He's this reminds me of when Marty McFly Williams bombed that Master Hill. Pineapple Fanta with the ice, and he just got the speed wobbles, and and, and it was Jover. It was it was so Jover. Um. Oh God. Oof. What a freaking slugfest this game has been. There, there, there really has not been a single like big tactical push. Yes, there, there have been like two armies, one cup. I think is the name of the video at one point, but. Nothing like, nothing like massive, like, like, really, like, thought, like, well thought out. And Trinomir just, yeah, he, Trinomir's just gonna pull back, dude. 
He's like, fine, fine. If, if you want to play the long game, I mean, that being said, so he's like, what do you mean, fine? I, I have like just as much troop value as you, almost as much troops as you. Who would have, who could have ever thought that a, a map like this could look like this? Tr Trinimir's got two comm towers, so that is so huge, especially like right now when we're talking about a, a possible huge engage with with two huge armies slamming into each other. You need every ounce of like extra damage you can get. And God, if, if only Trinimir could see how measly Suhid's army looked right now, he'd be pushing in. So we. We're, 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 we're gonna do it. We're gonna hit 50 days. We're, we're gonna do it. Oh god. The, the, this death ball is impenetrable. Trinomir's just sitting on a lightning strike like he's... Oh, here we go. So so he goes in, but but with this lightning strike, I think... I, Ladies and gents, I think this is gonna be it for... For, you know... The owner of the Deejus fan club. Uh, he'll, yeah. Oh, with the comm tower and the eagle boosted damage, he can one shot battlecopter engage. That is huge. That's gone. That's gone. Uh, wait, why didn't that one shot, dude? Oh, this so so so, so this was weak somehow, right? Um, when he one shot here, this had to have been weak so somehow, and then this was full health, so. Still, it looks like he got a bad roll on that, I'd have to imagine. Okay, he's pushing out. He'll finish that off. I mean, I mean, it's it's over. Like, it, like it's just over. It's, uh, oh my god. I mean, he's got the Winter's Fury on deck, but here comes a lightning strike. Here's Johnny, and then this, this is gonna fall. Like, it, like it's just all gonna fall. Um, what you talking about, Willis? Excuse me? He did not lightning strike. Uh oh as 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 uh Tyler Perry's Medea would say, oh crr. Oh no. Guys, we ran out of we literally ran out of of um uh we literally ran out of Sonic Rush music. We are now listening to the Interstellar soundtrack. Enjoy. I know I've already done this for a video, but enjoy. It's a good soundtrack, alright? They're they're good dogs, Brent. They're good dogs, Bront. Okay. Uh, he's not gonna get lightning strike. Um, but what the fuck is happening? <laughs> he's mounting a comeback again? No, he's he's lost this. I mean, it's over. It's over. Like, um, he's gonna he he he's gonna hit he's gonna hit him too hard here. Yeah, I mean, like, battlecopter swarming the neo tank. Like that that ship damage sucks to have to do, but like, but he he will get it done. He can take he can take any engagement he wants. He's just gonna lightning strike. E even if he wanted to take all these engagements and just run away after, he could do that because it's lightning strike. So, um, and now now he'll definitely lightning strike right here. Yeah, this is. I've I know I've been calling it all game, but come on, does anybody disagree with me that this is the finally the nail in the coffin? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 so Jover. It's it's just Jover. Unfortunate. Well, unfortunate for who? Unfortunate for Suhid, not our boy Trinomir, not our boy highest rated in the tournament, most hyped up player all tournament. And I think with nine troops left and one more arrow to click, this could be it. <laughs> you and your pride and your ego. Uh, bro, bro, bro. It's, um... It's it's a tournament. It's a tournament. Why not fight to the last breath, right? It's free. It's free. It's it's a tournament. Um, Trinomir will regroup, but with but at this point, there there is not a shot that um, uh, Suhid pulls this off. Unfortunately for Suhid, not for Trinomir. Okay, and Trinomir will just run his troops out. <laughs> or sorry, Suhid will run his troops out. Trinomir goes again. He's moving this line up, and he's got like two like awesome troops here to deal with it. He's getting close to like covering up this airport. Like th this is a great engage for him. He's gonna have to run out a horribly damaged, disfigured um, uh, battle copter. Um, and not yet, not yet. Holy shit, this music's loud. Holy shit, Are you guys okay? Jesus, just checking in on you. you. You guys need like I can make you some ants on a log or something. Are you guys okay? Um. Dude, he is not giving up. 
Income lead's too big now, bro. This game looks like it's over. Suheed, dude, nobody, nobody is like, you know, I think I, it, it, it was truly a pleasure to, to watch you in, to, to watch you in the tournament, man. You're a final four contestant, you know, elite eight, you know, uh, elite eight pe people can be remembered, but it really is the, it really is the final four that everybody remembers. And, uh, you were there, you were here. You get a star on, on the Connor Walk of Fame. I keep having to turn down the music because it's like swelling. But oh my god, it's 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 beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's let, let, let's watch it as Trinomir takes us home because there's just not much more to commentate. This game this game is over. Um, it's over. It's it's just over. Uh, Suhid has has stayed at ten troops like the entire time. There it is. And after getting just enough. For Blizzard, he says, I'm going out, but bury me in the snow. We salute you, Suheed. Guys, it's on. Trinomir versus Ekahard in the final game. Ekahard has currently made a name for himself in Advanced Wars by Web. Um... Dude is a scary motherfucker, that's for sure. Actually terrifying to play against, but so is Trinomir. You know, Trinomir this whole time, he, he, he's been the best player, no doubt. But if I, had, if, I had, if I had to have money on one player, it'd probably be my boy Ekahard. It probably would. Um, who do you guys think is going to take home the final game? Uh, you know, make sure to drop those comments. And let me know who you think is going to win. Everybody say congrats to Suheed. Dude made it to the final four and kept it. I mean, he did keep up a fight for not 57 days. He kept up a fight for probably 45 days. Um, and then he just got overran. If he had pulled back a couple times, maybe. Um, but that being said, the that being said, his strategy was pretty sound. Because he, he made it this far in the tournament. He made it this far in the game. It just was a little too much towards the end for him to overcome. Um, okay, that's it. That's all I got, guys. All right, be on the lookout. I'm going to do a very small announcement video for um, uh, the, 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 the championship game probably tomorrow. I've already done the interviews and, like, the intros and stuff. I've done all that goofy shit, so it's just probably going to be light. And I, I, know, I know I'm, like, I know I'm, like, so sarcastic, but I'm not being sarcastic. It will be, like, a two-minute long video probably. I'm just announcing it. I think they've already started, which... I definitely did not want them to do. Um, I, I really wish I just would have waited, but that's okay. Um, we'll just have them play it out. It's they earned it anyway. So, all right, that's all I got. Congratulations, Trinomir. See you in the final, uh, and I'll see all you guys later. Peace.